Hi, this is Mariah Gullo from The Hollywood Reporter, and we're in studio today with Woody McLean. Yes, yes. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Yeah, yeah. Feeling good? Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I am wondering, I have a million questions for you, okay. but the first thing I wanted to ask is, you were just in the New Edition story mm -hmm. as Bobby Brown. Now you are Bobby Brown in the Bobby Brown story. Right. What are the essential ingredients to being Bobby Brown? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> The central ingredients to being Bobby Brown, confidence, like number one, for sure. Mm -hmm. You can't tell him no. You know what I mean? You you have to really, really explain to me why, like, I, I'm talking like as if I'm here. <laughs> you have to really explain to Bobby why something can't happen. You know what I mean? Right, right. Um, he's all about proving people wrong. This yeah. is why he went solo. This is why he's blew up, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, on his own. And what else? Family first, for sure. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, that's those are the ingredients for being Bobby Brown. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. um, when you worked on both of these projects, mm -hmm. did you have the same creative team? Did you have to audition a second time? What was the process of getting the Bobby Brown story after the New Edition story? Oh, the that one was just uh, they called and was like, "Yo, we want you to do Bobby Brown." Yeah. You know what I mean, I was like, "Okay, cool." Um, I'm down to do it if we have the same, like the only way I would do it is if you guys are showing the other members, they have to be the same people. If, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. It can't be a different Ronnie, it can't be a different Ralph, it has to be the same exact people. Right. You know what I mean? And um, if Jesse Collins, the producer from the new edition is doing it, I'm down, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. So that's how that went. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that process was a lot easier than the new edition one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that that was your talk. That was the new edition. A big audition one was process. Like a long boot camp. Right, because they had to like create not only you know the uh, the real life people, but mm -hmm. like a real life band. So right, right, right. So like everybody had to work well together. Exactly. Right? So I remember coming, and it was like fifteen people like in a room, and like I would see like three people auditioning for Bobby, three people for like each person, mm -hmm. and they would like swap us out. And like you see all these executive producers there, they're standing. And I remember uh, Chris Robertson, the director on a new edition, he called all the Bobby Browns in, and it was like uh, it was three of us. And he said, "Woody, I want you to go first. And I'm like, "All right, cool." And the other Bobbies were standing there. He was like, "Listen, man, I've been hearing a lot about you, but I don't, I'm not moved right now. I was like, I need you, to, I need you to show me something." I was like, "All right, cool. Well, can I do a Bobby Brown song? Can we like play the actual song?" And um, he was like, "Yeah." So they played every little step, and I just blacked out. I remember, like, <laughs> I remember when it was done. I was like in my drawers and like giving one of the executives a lap dance. But I remember, like, when we left out of the room, the other guys that were auditioning for Bobby, they was like, "Yo, where did that come from?" And I'm like, "I have no idea." <laughs> <laughs> you were just channeling. Yeah, yeah. I was just, I was just locked in. But after that moment, I felt really good. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then that same night, I got the call saying they wanted me to be Bobby Brown. Mm. Yeah. And, and then as you know you make the physical transformation mm -hmm. to be Bobby do you had did you have to go on a special diet yes. did you have to yeah and what, what about the hair and the makeup did you actually have teeth did you have yeah to they give me uh, prosthetics you know how, oh, how did your teeth have to change to be to get Bobby's teeth uh, you know it was just like movie very, magic it's very specific movie. yeah yeah they do their thing like I mean when Bobby first met me he was like he's perfect but he needs a gap. I'm like, ah. Oh, I got to. I'm yeah. like, all right, cool. And I know people are so disappointed when they meet me. They was like, wait a minute. You don't have a gap. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. It's, it's a movie. They, they really hate that part. But, uh, yeah, um, I had to lose weight. For the new edition, I was 160. And mm -hmm. then I had to get to, like, 150. Mm -hmm. And then after the new edition, my weight just went crazy. I went to, like, 185. Oh, and then yeah. from there, I had to get from 185 to, like, 160 again. So I just oh, ate wow. nothing but seafood. No carbs or nothing, just the pescatarian life. Oh, mm. right on. I loved it too. It felt great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, there's, I'm, I'm sure that uh, once you're off of the diet, and mm -hmm. I, I used to work for the UFC and those guys would just balloon up after really? a fight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but that's like, I love that part of acting where yeah. you can like transform to be whatever you need to be for the character. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, cool. Um, okay, so Bobby was actually on set for a lot of the scenes. Yes. So what was that like? Um, you 
obviously needed to consult with him a lot. Um, were you also, uh, you know, asking him questions as it went along, or were you consulting with him beforehand and then? Um, as it went along, we we talked about a lot of things. Uh, some some things he couldn't be on set for. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Because it, it more was difficult scenes. Yeah, it was super super difficult, and I, I I won't even ask him because I already know like Bobby's super super emotional. Mm -hmm. Like any little thing can like trigger him to like to like start tearing up. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I don't like to see people tear up. Yeah. So I was super super sensitive to Bobby and his family, and um, mm -hmm. just about how I would word stuff when I'm talking to him. But uh, just having him here with us to this day is super amazing to me. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. people tell their stories and they're not really here. So it's yeah. like, yo, how do you know exactly how that person is feeling in those moments? You know what I mean? But I, I have the pleasure of having Bobby here so I can ask him exactly how he felt in those mm -hmm. moments. Did you read his memoir beforehand? Talking about the book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It's great. It's so a well, lot of Is there anything that stuff. really shocked you about that? <sighs> Did you have to talk to him and be like, was this, was the this thing really where happened? he when he cooked the chicken in the uh, in cocaine. Yes, I was like, <laughs> "Are you serious? <laughs> that is intense. Yeah. That's crazy." How does that even happen? Yo, that is crazy. <laughs> yeah, that isn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. <laughs> did anything come up about him having sex with a ghost? Like, so did, we, did we ever the, talk about it? That's probably the craziest thing I've heard from that book. About him having sex with a ghost? Yes. I, I'm like, I believe in spirits. Yeah. So I didn't even you talk don't question about that. It. I, don't, I don't talk about that because I don't want <laughs> to be at home sleeping. Right. And, <laughs> and the ghost like, are you talking about me? Yeah, exactly. I don't need that. I don't need that portal to be open. <laughs> I'll pass on that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what about some of the scenes with, you know, some of his more famous hookups, like Janet Ugh. Jackson? Yeah, yeah. I don't even know if I can talk about it. But when I read a lot of the stuff, I'm like, yo, you sure you wanna you sure you wanna like film this? He was like, This is the truth, it's my truth. You yeah. know what I mean? He's he's very uh he makes it clear that he wants his kids to know exactly how his life was. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So they don't have to hear from anybody else. They can actually see it and be like, This is what daddy's been through. I'm not proud of it, but now you guys can learn from what I've been through. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciate him for telling his truth. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. What about some of the performance scenes? Oh, those um, are always fun. Yeah, yeah and he was on set last. for that when you did Yeah, we did those last. And I know a lot of the crew people, I know the day before we did, like, the dance stuff, uh -huh. the crew people was like, yo, Woody needs a dance double. And everybody was like, what? It was like, <laughs> yeah, he has to dance tomorrow. And it was like, all right, cool. And then I did the dance performance, and I remember everybody looking like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's like, I like to dance. It's fun. So I'm like, this project was so perfect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I could do everything that I like to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but you've said before that you're not planning on releasing an album or anything no. after this. You do not want to be a musician. No. Uh, is that from, from basically being immersed in this experience? Did you realize that the life of a musician is very hard or very, um, I mean, maybe crazy? No, I mean, when it comes to like, that part like I produce I went to mm -hmm. college for producing music and yeah. um, I come from like the marching band I would love to do yeah. behind the scenes like producing I have this group called band geeks and we mm -hmm. produce but I don't want to be the one in front yeah. like singing and like doing all that kind of stuff I'll yeah. pass on that one yeah, yeah nah <laughs> you're still in front but you're just being another yeah. person mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> right yeah let's start with your co-star Gabrielle Dennis mm -hmm. uh, did you guys have to work hard to get that Bobby uh, Bobby and Whitney kind of that chemistry. Rapport, that chemistry, yeah. Man, what's so crazy about Gabby is she's such a dope person. Yeah. I mean, I remember our first time doing a chemistry read, she left, and I was like, yo, that's her. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, we can stop. We don't even need to audition no more people. This is the Whitney. You know what I mean? I felt that connection. And they kept auditioning different girls, and I'm like, this is crazy. The Gabby is the one. And I remember, like, the last day, they finally told me, like, Gabby's going to be the one. And she's so cool. She's so professional. She's so on her stuff. I feel like Gabby is up here, and what she did was she brought my level up to hers. Mm. So we, I don't know how to explain it, man. She's so dope. Yeah. She's so, so dope. And she kills this role. Yeah. And I can't wait for people to see it. You yeah. You know what I mean? They're, they're really going to love it. 
Because at the, at the end of the day, it's never about looks. Because I know a lot of people are like, uh, she don't look like Whitney Houston. Right. I'm like, okay. But I remember when I first auditioned for Bobby Brown, everybody was like, yo, he doesn't look like Bobby Brown. He looks like Kel Mitchell. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> But then after I did it, it's like, oh, okay, he looks like Bobby Brown now. Like, You know yeah. what I mean? So we, they have to do better at giving people a chance to show, you know what I mean, instead yeah. of criticizing. But her performance is amazing. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's really hard when you have a reality show. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you people are so familiar with the way that they right. reacted with each other, but you as actors have to have your own chemistry and find your own yep. way with the material mm -hmm. rather than just kind of doing a an imitation. Yeah, right, right, right. I mean, her performance is so, so dope. I remember, like, Bobby couldn't be around her. Wow. Yeah, That's he was like, yo, this is crazy. I just, right now I can't be around you. Because, like, he would get emotional all over yeah. again. I'm getting chills talking about uh, it. Yeah. I'm excited to see it. I'm excited for the world to see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you learn anything about the nature of fame from doing these projects? Yes. I've learned that people will read anything and believe it. Without even, like, finding out, is it true? They just <laughs> read it and believe it. Mm. You know what I mean? So I've learned that about being Bobby Brown. Like, they would say something about him in the media, and people would just automatically believe it. You know mm. what I mean? So, like, this story is going to really show people exactly what happens in those mm. moments, those key moments that we all read about. Yeah. And then you, they'll start to understand. You know what I mean? We're all human. Mm. We're all, like, one moment away of going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, absolutely. Um do you have any desire to continue dancing? Continue dancing? Yeah. Oh, no. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. days are behind you. Man, yeah. I haven't <laughs> did that in like two years now. <laughs> My knees are, uh, <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, what's the best piece of advice you can give to young actors who are kind of waiting for their big break? Be ready. Mm. You know what I mean? And never compare your journey to somebody else's. Mm. We all have a different path. You know what I mean? Like, my journey... It's my journey. I can tell you everything that I've done, but that's not necessarily going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, so just know, like, just work hard and just whenever you get that moment, kill it. Be ready. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, and so now you've you've been in the new edition story, the Bobby Brown story. You were you even had a part in Unsolved yes. about Biggie and Tupac. Mm -hmm. What's the next big story to tell? Like, who, whose life story would you like to see Ooh. dramatized? I would like to see uh, the Black Five. It's like the five African American men that was like that got a chance to play professional basketball for the first time. I would oh. want to see that. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I would like to see one. that movement. So, Woody, what's next for you? Uh, I have a movie coming out called Canal Street, that's directed right. by uh, Ryan Lamar, featuring Brashear Gray. I yeah, also work with him. Some of the same co-stars. Yeah, yeah. From the New Edition story. So it was so dope to work with him again because we already have great chemistry. And Ryan is such a dope, dope director. Uh, I'm excited for the world to see that one because it talks about what's going on now with our, uh, like, the whole race thing. And, like, mm -hmm. it's, it's really, really deep. And what's so crazy about this story is they wrote this in 2005. And wow. it's, like, current to what's going on right yeah. now. Yeah. So I'm excited for the world to see that. September 14th, in theaters. Yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Woody, thank you so much for being here. The show is The Bobby Brown Story. It's on BET. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs>